Welcome Sagittarius and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition bringing you a general love reading. Please know there are always time stamps in the description box for those of you that want to skip ahead. Please know that time is fluid so this can resonate for you past, present, or future if it does not resonate. And even if it does, you should check out your moon, rising, and Venus signs for additional messages and guidance. Okay. So what does this person wanted to say to you? Okay. So, I regret lying to you. They weren't fully honest about something, you know, whether that be something that's current or in the past, but it is something that they do, you know, heavily reflect on, they do have regrets over. They are saying, I am so attracted to you. So, I do get kind of like this breathtaking type feeling or energy, like just completely taken aback by you, by your beauty inside and out. Um, you know, they haven't lost interest in you. You know, some of you may be wondering about that, and that's confirmation that that's not the case here. I wish things could be different. So there could be something about the circumstances between you and this person where this is not the most ideal connection or something is not, you know, as you deserve what you want. I'm grateful for the spiritual lesson, and then paired with that we have, I'm starting to understand our connection. So this definitely does make me think that, you know, you share a very strong spiritual tie. Maybe there's a type of karmic energy here. Like maybe there's something you're supposed to learn um, either with other people or with each other. There's a reason your paths have crossed, you know, and they are grateful to have you in their life because you've taught them a lot, you know. And I was kind of getting like, there's something about you, you know, that's so, I mean, not just physically beautiful though, I, or handsome, but something about just your energy, your mind, your compassion, you know, your personality that this person is just so attracted to like you're so different you stand out i'm attracted to you and it's like they're in awe of you or inspired by you and they're understanding you know why you are in each other's lives at this point you know and there's even some regrets maybe for the past i don't know why i'm getting like maybe this person pushed you away in the past because again here it does say I lost myself for a little while. So like this person is kind of getting to like understand more about the situation, your connection, the purpose for all of this. Okay. So let us see. All right. So we're going to do your energy at the top, their energy at the bottom. But as it's general, it can be flipped or reversed. Sometimes energies can scatter around a little bit as well. All right. So what's going on here? Okay. How do you see this situation? Okay. Wow. Is your person extremely successful or do they have their own business or something? I think you just see so much potential between you and this person. Like you could really build a really strong, abundant life together. I mean, it's not just about money, but I think that you see that you have a future with this person. You, you know, you want to build with them. I think you're both very ambitious. I think you're both maybe even in the same field or career. It's like somehow your careers can interweave or overlap or something. Like you can start a business together. Like maybe one of you is an amazing cook and the other person you know, is like the financial backer for a restaurant or something, or, you know, maybe you're both teachers and you want to open like a school or something. It's like together, your talents just work so perfectly together. You know, I think that for you, you see yourself with this person. You're committed to them. They're the one. You don't have doubts about that, you know, but there are certain things about your connection that you do want to be different. I feel, I feel like you both have talked about the type of future, the type of life that you'd want to have with each other. And I feel like you're willing to put in the effort, the energy, the time to fight for this because it's not, it's worth, it's worth it, right? Let's look at your person though. Let's see. What do they think, feel, intentions, actions, all of it. Wow. Okay. So, they're not letting you go, but it does feel like they're afraid of disappointing you. 
it's almost like expectations that they, they got your expectations up or something for a very small portion of you maybe this person's already involved but I really don't get that for the predominant collective I feel like now you could work with this person like I said or there's some kind of some way your your career paths intertwine or interlock together like you are so similar it's almost like you're the same person or something you know, you see yourself committed to this person, married to this person, settle down, you're loyal to them, you love them, you want to build a life with them. And it's like, maybe you're uncertain or you fear that this person isn't ready for that, though you've talked about it. But I think there's just like this eagerness to like go on these adventures, to take that leap of faith together, to try things, to, to try to make it work, to, you know, defy the odds, you know, whatever is stacked against you. Sorry, I heard a really strange noise outside. Don't know what that was. But, um... There's a lot of intensity here, but you're wanting stability. That's the reason that you're in this is because you see the potential for a strong, beautiful, committed, loyal foundation to you could build, you know, a partnership, two people coming together for the same mutual goals, interest. You just see so much success of what you're aiming for. You don't want to give up without a fight because this is what you want. You know, no matter how much time or energy you both have put into the situation, there's no turning back now, not at least in your perspective. It's like, if this person's like following through with something, like they, I, I don't know why I'm getting like, there's something about the plan that's not as you talked it out or something. There's something about, mm, it's, it's not exactly as they said it was going to be. I don't think that's a deal breaker for you, though, as long as they're going to be upfront and honest. Like, maybe if they said they, I'm just going to give you an example. If this person told you initially, oh, yeah, I've got 20 grand in the bank in savings, you know, they may have actually kind of struck, maybe they'll have a thousand in savings. You get what I'm saying? Um, it's like there can be certain things that they don't, do not fully tell you. I don't feel like it's, you know, a wife and 12 kids at home you don't know about. I mean, again, if that's your story, you know, don't force don't force things to fit that aren't, aren't, aren't for you. But, you know, for a handful of you, I mean, they could be involved, but I, I really don't get that for the collective. This feels like this person, they don't want to let you down. They've, they've talked it up, but maybe they've even, like, overshot their abilities, like, told you that they've started other businesses before or they've been able to do X, Y, and Z. You know, but that's not really the case. And it's not that this person's not successful or not ambitious or driven, you know, or, or you know, confident in themselves. But they may have exaggerated the truth a little bit. There could be certain things about this that they're fearful of telling you. But this person's very hardworking, very sure of what they want. And they will fight for this situation. I do feel this person, they think that you're the one. Like, there's no doubt in this person's mind that you are home to them. You feel like home to each other. That they want to build a life with you. Um, there's a lot of there's a lot of passion and desire here. You know, like you feel so you think of each other as like home and comfort. It's like you are the first person they want to tell when they have good news or bad news, and vice versa. It's like if you've had a long hard day, they want to come to you. They want to say, "Baby, you won't believe what happened to me at work." And they know that you're going to put them at ease. You're going to make them feel comfortable. You're going to motivate them, inspire them, keep them going, keep them uplifted. And they want to do the same thing for you. And it feels like when there's positive news, they can't wait to tell you, you know. There's just this desire to communicate and then move forward and excitement about the future with you. You are exactly what they want. You know, we do have fire energy very strongly here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. A little bit of water. I mean, it could be any signs that you're dealing with, but very strong earth and fire. This person is very sure of you. They're determined to make this work. But I think this person fears that they're going to disappoint you or that it's not going to line up the way that you had initially planned. Not that that's always a, it's a, a horrible thing. Plans are important. You, know, you guys know, like, it, it's good to kind of have, like, some kind of order or balance. But I think you're both know what you as long as you're able to communicate openly about you know what where you're at and what you want and how to achieve that you know and stick to it this can work I, again i'm just getting like I, I regret lying to you this person was not 
completely honest about something. Like I said, for the predominant collective, I feel like this person may have like lied about or exaggerated the truth about their finances or their credit score or something silly like that. You know, it's like, it's not even that big of a deal. I think that you're very successful and that you're very hardworking and money is not the most important thing to you, but you do see success with this person. Like if this person told you that they could, you know, help you open your dream restaurant or help you start that business, they actually don't know 100% how they can make that happen, but they told you that, that they could or something. Um, it's not that they don't want to do that, but there can be some things that they just have not mentioned or that they did not say. Let us see. Playfulness. It says to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So this is about spending time together, having fun together, you know, uplifting each other. And then honeymoon, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So you actually both may be getting this opportunity to really spend some quality time like under their chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. So what they're saying here is that the two of you, I mean, yes, there's a very strong physical attraction. You both are very similar in like your life path, the things that you want to achieve, your careers, you know, very ambitious, very creative. And I think that you're both very compatible. But whatever the obstacle, I think this person just needs to kind of come clean about, you know, any struggles or fears or insecurities that they have. And that there's a lot of potential for this to be successful, you know, because you're learning from each other. This is an opportunity. Like your, your paths have crossed in this life for a reason. You're helping each other. You know, there's going to be an opportunity to spend quality time together. I think that it will make you both feel more confident and even strengthen your connection. So just be very honest about what you want, what you need. You know, any concerns that you have, work together because you want the same things. The desire is mutual. So that's what I have for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing. As always, I wish you strength and I wish you many blessings. Bye-bye.